Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. It's Pixelated Apollo here. Hope you guys are doing well. And today is a special day because it's Thanksgiving. A time to, well, eat a lot of food. Things we do every day. Uh, so, yeah, big ol' happy Thanksgiving to all my American subs out there. And a happy late Thanksgiving to all the Canadian subs. And a happy, well... I don't know, just eat a lot of food day for my European and everybody else subs? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, Thanksgiving is a pretty sweet holiday because you get time off. You get to eat a lot of delicious food. Um, I, it's funny, Jackie Fish, you know, obviously he's British and he always makes fun of me because I guess it's very American to eat like yams with marshmallows on it. I don't know. I love that. It's delicious. It's great. Uh, but yeah, I love Thanksgiving. I hope everyone is having a fantastic Thanksgiving, uh, and just eating lots of food. So today, anyways, on to the video, we are going to be doing a, uh, well, basically I wanted to do a battle that had Native Americans in it because, you know, Thanksgiving originally was about a tribe uh, joining forces with uh, Europeans who killed another tribe and then they celebrated by having a feast. Well, that's basically what we kind of have here. So we got a French Indian War themed battle. So we got the Iroquois teaming up with the British and then, of course, we have the Cherokee teaming up with the French or joining forces with the French. The way this is going to work, the natives are going to fight each other first. And then we're going to have European forces, small European armies, show up um, show up as reinforcements ten minutes later. Uh, so, yeah, and the timer's already been going, guys. So, it's they're going to show up pretty soon. So, yeah, the British back here. We've got the French way up here. So, yeah, pretty cool stuff. This was, uh, you know, before before Napoleon France uh, so yeah th I thought this was this was gonna be a great idea I'm really pumped about this I this was really last minute and a lot of people joined me for this and all the players here were so cool man they were just so like they were so nice and easy to talk to it's just it was great it was a very laid-back just fun we were cracking jokes the whole time it's just a it's just a fun little thing so I definitely need to try to you know join my discord more often and play some battles with you guys uh, but yeah if we look at the natives a, a little bit we'll start with the Euroqua a uh, Uruquois over here. Uh, I mean, I think the native rosters are all the same, so they look pretty much identical, which kind of sucks. It would love, I would love to see like different variations in the faction uh, native forces. But yeah, he's got some warriors in the front line, some bowmen. I like the formation here. It's very like total war, even though natives were a bit more like ambushy. But I guess like the French and British were like giving them some lessons, like oh, fight in big lines. It's like, are you sure this is gonna work for us? And then we've got the other, look at this force, this is massive, let's zoom in on here. We've got the chief's bodyguard, we have uh, some warriors in the back, uh, some medicine men, and then we got some bowmen ready to open fire. Looks like the battle hasn't, has not yet started uh, just yet, um, but yeah, the forces are going to be pushing up here. Now, like I said, we only have half size armies. My force, I've got like four in line infantry, I've got some regiment of horse, one 12 pounder. I've got some light infantry and a general's bodyguard. So, yeah, a quick little overview because I think pretty... Yep, here we go. The battle has begun, guys. So, the bowmen opening fire. So, very cool. Uh, I, I am playing the music from the Empire game. I was going to put in my own, you know, like, epic music. But I remembered. It's like, you know what? When there's natives on the battlefield, listen to this. Yeah, you know what? Dang it. Let me turn this thing up. Come on. Let's get into the groove. This is epic music right here. Here we go. Here we go. That didn't. That doesn't sound louder. What What happened there? Did I not do that right? I turned up the mute. It doesn't sound. Whatever. Let's go. Let's go back to the battle. There we go. So the yeah, the archers are firing, and then we've got some infantry charging forward. We got some warriors trying to cut up these bowmen over here. So let's see if they can get there in, in time without taking too too many casualties. There we go. They are going to charge forward. They're going to scare off the bowmen. Now, there's nothing really waiting for them. They might get cab charged by the Lancers. The Cherokee have some pretty nasty Lancers. Um, I think they all have Lancers, actually. Uh, so here comes some more warriors to meet these guys. Here we go. Nice. A little clash of warriors. Very cool. Here comes another charge. Awesome. And now um, the bowmen are still firing down over here. It's kind of weird to do commentary over, you know, a native versus native battle. It's just like, I don't know, like, I feel like normal tactics go out the window. It's more of like an ambushy style. Uh, but yeah, oh, look at this. This is madness right here. 
Very cool. I got the uh, the Lancers, I believe. Are these are these Warriors? No, this is Chief's bodyguard. Already thrown into the fight. Right into the mix. And sure enough, I believe that general dies pretty quickly. Uh, so yeah, he kind of just... You know, he's like, that's a brave general. He, he, you know, he's a warrior general. Charges in, but unfortunately, he loses his life for that. And now we've got more warriors charging up this way. Let's head over to the other battle. Let's see how this one's turning out. This one's a little bit slower. We do have some engagements going on in the flank. Kind of hard to tell what's going on because, well... Well... <laughs> it's just the same roster. So, they all look identical. <laughs> like, like they, I, I wish the Iroquois had, um, like blue paint instead of red paint and then the Cherokee could have red paint that way you can kind of like tell what's going on here but yeah they all just kind of look the same uh, now that we got more forces charging more warriors coming up this way they're gonna go ahead and charge the medicine men it's so cool man it's just not you don't get to see this all the time so seeing yeah 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 seeing like an epic native battle uh, it's pretty cool it's really fun Nothing better to celebrate Thanksgiving than watching natives slaughter each other for our own amusement. Uh, there's a nice little fight here. Warrior Society against some medicine men. Small little engagement there. Back over this way, looks still pretty even. It looks very close uh, between the Cherokee and the Iroquois. So, pretty intense. I think at this point, I am moving up some reinforcements. Um, pretty sure. Actually, no. No, the army's still march. We are moving up, though. The reinforcements are allowed to march forward. So I'm making my way. At this point, I'm just kind of observing the battle. I'm just seeing, like, who needs more help. It's looking like... I don't know. It still looks really close here. But it kind of looks like the Iroquois are winning on this side. Here comes more Cav going into the fray. Uh, supporting this front line. They got their long lances here. Long spears. Oh, that guy just, like, swinged a magic... Uh, Tomahawk and just knocked him off his horse. He didn't even hit him with the Tomahawk. Oh, there we go. Yeah, these Lancers are having a tough time against the Warrior Society. Nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is a huge victory over here for the Uruguay uh, Native Americans. They're going to go ahead and push forward and um, clean up what's left. I mean, this is a huge... Look at all these, like, five, six units here ready to go. Uh, back over this way. It's still really close. So when I saw this engagement, I was like, you know what? It's looking like the Cherokee are winning on this side and the Iroquois are winning on this side. So I'm going to quickly try to get my reinforcements over to this side. I've got two of my cav units just resting them up a little bit. They're fresh. They're not tired or anything, but I'm just kind of observing the battle. They're like, sir, the natives are killing each other. It's like, let's just wait another five minutes. Like, let's just... You know, come on, we'll just wait a little bit, then we'll charge it. It's like, sir, but shouldn't we save our allies? Like, let's just wait a little bit. It's fine. Uh, but yeah, yeah, basically I'm waiting because I don't want to charge in too early. I want to make sure I go in when the, you know, the cab charge will be most effective. Uh, but yeah, look at this. Just a mess of a fight here. Um, oh, wait, here comes the care. This is, okay, when I saw this Lancer cab charge in, to my allies warrior uh warrior society flank this is when i was like all right it's time to move forward it's time to go for the kill i've got to help my iroquois uh allies here against the cherokee so i want to push up the regiment of horse i got two units of regiment horse pushing up kind of just trotting forward again like we don't want to get there too quickly we don't want to save that many uh but we're gonna push forward uh back over this way i think the french have also started to put yeah they're they're also pushing up uh, some forces as well, some cab. So they're going to try to get them into the fray and uh, to join this battle. But uh, they have a little ways to go. Yeah, they have quite a bit to go. Uruguay are obviously winning this fight over here. So let's go back here where my forces are coming in. The European, the Watt Man, has arrived uh, here to uh, support my ally and bring down the Cherokee. Which, by the way, guys, I live in Georgia. And Cher Georgia used to be a pretty big ter territory where the Cherokee... Um, Cherokee, um, you know, lived. Where they once lived. Uh, now the Cav charging in and going to take out these bowmen. Uh, just trying to take out the, uh, the skirmishers. I got my other Cav unit also charging in as well. Supporting the fight against the Cherokee. And I'm gonna go ahead and push them forward and continue to push, take out these bowmen. Get them off the battlefield. Oh my god, look at just the dead piles of natives, man. 
That's gruesome. That's gruesome. There we go. I'm going to try to take these guys out, but sure enough, the Cherokee, they still have a Lancer unit in reserve, so i got to watch out for that. And just with this, this nice little cav charge alone, I'm able to support my allies uh, in this fight. And it looks like this one is turning around, and the balance of power, or oh, there is no balance of power. But yeah, when we were playing this battle real time, the balance of power was shifting in our favor. There we go. So back here, the Uruguay are pretty much victorious. The French Cav going to fall back. I guess they were just a little too late there. And they feel like, you know what? We might as well fall back and try to uh, just regroup. Uh, if we head back here, I guess we'll head back and just kind of watch this little last stand of the Cherokee. They're also now losing on this side. So the Uruguay, with a little help of my Cav, pretty much defeat most of the Cherokee force. The French were just not able to get there quick enough. I got some cab just kind of looking off in the distance. Holy crap. Where did these Cherokee come from? He's got bowmen and tribesmen and some some lance. I didn't even see. They must have been hiding in these trees. So I'm going to go ahead and charge in over here as well. Uh, it's a little reckless here from my cab to just charge into a huge blob. But I don't even remember this live. When did they just like... I don't know. They just came out of the trees full of forces. And now he's going to send down some medicine men to support my cab. Yeah. La, 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 la. Get it. Let's do it. Some uh, some inspiring cries there. Fun fact, uh, if we go to the Civil War, the Confederates, uh, the Southern soldiers, also had a very uh, similar uh, battle cry, which they pretty much took from the natives, which is very intimidating. It's very just like... I know, it's easy to just kind of like, oh, how's that intimidating? But like, just imagine being on the battlefield and just hearing like a coyote type sound of like thousands of men, you know, charging you. It'd be very, very intimidating. Here comes more and more reinforcements coming down. Coming here to clean up the forces. My cav just doing their thing. My infantry and just pretty much everyone else from my army, which where are they? They're right here, have not engaged anyone. So I'm still pushing them forward. Uh, most likely uh, getting ready to face the French and what's left of their army, which is pretty much most of their forces. Now I'm going to get a nice hammer and anvil, uh, hammer and anvil of my uh, regiment of horse to the back lines of the Cherokee uh, infantry. So, yeah. Yeah, I actually, I really, really enjoy learning about uh, Native American culture. Very interesting, very intriguing. The Cherokee, definitely one of my favorites to learn about, especially because they were, you know, they were around the region I currently live in and where I grew up. And, like, I've learned, we always have, like, um, Native American festivals and stuff. And it's just, like, I don't know, it's just really cool to learn and just find, like, old graves and stuff of, um, of natives and, and stuff. Pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. Uh, but, yeah, the, the Cav and the Mixin uh, infantry of my allies were able to finally crush... The Cherokee Warriors are going to go ahead and break here. <laughs> there we go. So that's pretty much the last of the Cherokee. Um, well, not no, it's not the last. They, they have fallen back as well. Uh, they have a couple troops back here. But it's pretty much the Cherokee are de uh, defeated. And now it's going to be up to the French to, uh, to win this one. So at this point of the battle, it takes us a while to get up this hill. So I'm just going to fast forward and get us to, to that point. All right, guys. Welcome back. So we are a lot closer to the French uh, position here. The snow is starting to fall again. We got some natives eager to kill some European blood here, some Frenchmen. So they're going to go ahead and push forward. I got my infantry close behind. Uh, so the rules here that we had for this little fun little scenario is that if the losing side, so like the natives were going to fight, and whoever's native side was losing, that's the reinforcement force would be a bit more defensive. So obviously I'm going to go ahead and be pretty aggressive here. Got my British lines opening fire already. Uh, more natives charging forward. Look at these brave warriors. And right when I say brave, they go ahead and break. But we got more where that came from. More warriors trying to get up here, trying to silence these guys. And the thing about the natives, obviously they, they don't compete distance-wise against these guns. But if you get them into melee, they will do a lot of damage. Now over here, I was trying to flank around some light infantry. Very, very bold move here. Very wise move. I didn't even see this coming uh, from the French cab. Gonna cut down my light infantry, which is a little unfortunate. 
Now, also, there's a really lame mechanic in Empire where if you're playing early period, you have to plug your bayonet. And that's, that's not the lame part. That's the cool part. But the lame part is that once you plug your bayonet, you can't unplug it. So, yeah. It's pretty late. Once you plug your bayonet, you just have to fight in melee the whole time. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. It's I don't know. It's kind of silly, right? Uh, so I stupidly like, oh, cool, plug bayonet, and I was like plugging a bunch of bayonets, and unfortunately, a lot of my infantry were melee only. Uh, yeah. So, unless you're able to sit back and just let them fire naturally, I don't know. I didn't think so. But anyways, I'm gonna charge in some line infantry to support my, uh, my light infantry. There we go. Get in there, guys. Bring down these French. So yeah, I've got plenty of troops supporting over here. We head back up here. I even threw in some of my, uh, line infantry to support. Oh, there goes the general. And sure enough, this was actually... Nip Nip, who was the French player. So yeah, he was, um, I think my artillery got, or actually I think his general died in one of these cab charges. Uh, but another bold cab charge against my infantry. Unfortunately, I was not paying attention. Uh, I did not form square and my infantry is going to win here for sure, but they took some heavy casualties. And the French position is pretty intense. Pretty intense. You can see the French have lots of lines here. Got some native uh, Cherokee bowmen firing down. He's got a great line in this tree line, which looks really good. So yeah, lots and lots of infantry. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to flank around here a little bit. I've got my line infantry, I've got my light infantry. And you can see the French are now trying to maneuver uh, to counter that flank. The French are holding on for dear life. Uh, we're, look at this fight over here. This is crazy. The French have been fighting like crazy. Over, it's the Chasseur afoot or whatever. Um, they are uh, just unbreakable. So I'm setting in my British. And once again, this is another unit that I told them to plug their bayonets. And they're barely even fighting. Come on, guys. Push. What the heck? Some more natives coming up this way. And I think the timing with my ally is, was not great. Uh... Yeah, we still have a whole nother native army a little too far away. I was hoping we could all fight together and kind of overwhelm the French because we have the numbers. Uh, but yeah, I was like, oh crap, my allies' forces are so far away. Also, I got my light set up in the tree line over here, but I really need to try to push them forward because the terrain isn't that great for them. So yeah, I just need to get them like uphill, up here, uphill, which is up there. Uh, and then, there we go, I charged in my... Uh, Line infantry, because that's all I could have done. I was like, all right, well, since you guys plug your bayonets, get into the fight. I think he plugged his bayonets too, if I'm looking at that correctly. Yeah, it looks like he has his bayonets as well. And now we got even more French coming around to surround me, and this is not good. This battle is going downhill pretty quickly. Uh, I was, I was, a, to be honest, I was a little overconfident. I was like, oh man, this battle is going to be an easy finish, but. I don't know. It's it's a tough grind here, guys. It's gonna be a fight to the last. There we go. Now we're taking out some line infantry. Nice little charge there from the um, warrior society, and they're chewing them up. Like once you get these natives in in melee, those tomahawks go ham. They go ham. They are going after that uh, that line infantry, and we got some Cherokee maneuvering over this way, sending over his bowmen. The French still holding on to this, this hillside. Nice little stand by the line infantry. More line infantry falling back over here. I think they just defeated my, my, um, my infantry that was charging in. I just got another, I got more line infantry up this way. They're a little bit closer, so I did, I did move them forward up on this hill. Nice. Very good, uh, point of view here. Just popping some shots. Here comes another charge from the British lines who also plug their bayonets, so I gotta get them into the fight. There we go, there we go. Cherokee going into uh, these regiments. Get him! Get him! So this is a pretty close battle right here, but I've got to win this one. Here comes my ally sending in some lancers into this fight. Also, at this point, um,. My general is still alive. He took some heavy losses here. Just from like random shots and stuff. But And also my own artillery. 
Let's not forget about that. He's charging around his line infantry. I was trying to set up my guys quickly to deal with that. But honestly, I thought these guys were going to break so quickly. I was like, oh, no big deal. Whatever. Just let them flank around. That's fine. We're going to keep pushing forward and support these natives over here. We still have this native army that has not engaged yet. So we're trying to get them. They're like, you know, we've done enough killing. We killed our own kind. You can go kill your own kind. And uh, there goes Jack. He loses his general. Um, I assume is one of uh, the forces that charged in. I'm trying to regroup my my uh, my muskets here to engage these guys. I'm outnumbered, just like desperately like waiting for my ally with some reinforcements. Come on, firemen! Fire! So a lot of them were a lot of them were reloading. My lights are getting charged, and unfortunately they broke there. I still have these lights over here though, so they're gonna continue to hold their ground, but. Okay, there goes the charge. A little charge on the flank. We're kind of like set up here, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and charge in my lights and try to disrupt their formation. Try to save more of my allies' army. Is he charging in? Here we go. He's charging in through the tree line, going after the French position. Get him, boys! Get him! Yep. <laughs> there he goes. He's gonna charge uphill. Oh, nice. So, nice little melee here with the natives and the French. Also, my, my British still holding out. They, they're going to keep on fighting because they're like, yes, the natives have, have arrived with reinforcements. Now, with this flanking force from the French, I decided to charge in my general. This was really risky, but I honestly thought I would break these guys in one charge because they were so depleted. But it doesn't look like that's that's happening, so that's that's looking pretty bad. Uh, he charged my British lines. Not looking good here. Not looking good. Yeah, so I'm basically down to my artillery and my lights. Uh, the natives doing the best they can to try to break these French. The French are, you know, I'm amazed because we killed the French general in like the first couple seconds of fighting. Like when we engaged the French, I took him out and there goes my general. So I took out the French general so quickly, or somebody did, so I was like, oh, they're gonna break pretty... Oh, look at this guy, break his neck. They're gonna break pretty quickly, right? Uh, no, they're gonna fight on. General or or no general. So that's pretty unfortunate. My allies' army is starting to waver here, and the French, man, the French are gonna hold on to a victory! Yeah, so... Um... A lot of mistakes here on my part. I'm just gonna be honest here, guys. I was a little too confident here in this in this uh, this battle. It's like, you know what? This is gonna be easy mode. The French allies have been destroyed. All we have to do is just charge them. I think the biggest mistake here with me and my ally is that we didn't really have our timing right. The timing was way off. Uh, but again, let me just stress this: that this was a very laid-back battle. We were just kind of goofing around, having fun, and. A lot of people, you know, were on their break and stuff, and, you know, the Thanksgiving break, they, they had time from school. We, it was just, it was good, it was just a good atmosphere. Uh, so, I'm down to my artillery, but am I out yet? No. Also, you know what, another thing I blame for this battle, playing too much NTW3. It's just, like, so different. Anyways, enough excuses. Here comes my 12-pounder. I'm gonna try to get some shots. I'm going after the healthiest unit, which is this unit right here. Gonna try to get some, take some men away. Uh, but unfortunately, all the shots miss. So I was like, all right. Well, I'm probably not going to have enough time to uh, get another shot before they're in canister shot mode. So I'm going to go ahead and just um, switch to canister shot and get that ready. So I've seen it happen before where artillery can win the day with some good old canister shot. But this, the French are being smart. He's flanking around. He's flanking around. Also, I think the French player is kind of messing with my head. At the beginning, he... Oh, hold on. Nice volley. I, I just want to get this. Boom. Nice. So, yeah. That's all we get there. Anyways, the French player at the beginning, he was like... I saw him kind of like struggling to move his troops a little bit. And he's like, yeah, sorry. I'm just not used to these empire mechanics. And then I'm like, whoa. As soon as we, as soon as we start fighting, you get these MLG... Like, I don't know. Strats. What the hell? Uh, but no, it's all good. Here comes the French charge. He's going to take out the artillery. And there goes the rest. Yeah, I was hoping to get one more volley there. But the French are able to hold on to a victory just barely with a, a few, a handful of troops here. Um, and no general. 
Uh, but this was a really fun battle. And just look at the carnage. Like, where were the natives fighting? Hold on. It was like down here. Look at this. This right here is just absolute carnage. My god. A lot of natives died for this battle. <laughs> Jesus. So, you know, just keeping the spirits, uh, spirit of, uh, of Thanksgiving. Oh, look at this. I was two players, apparently. Uh, so, yeah, we uh, unfortunately, his name's not showing up. I don't know why. Uh, but the um, Iroquois player was Walsh. I was the British player. As much as I would love to take the kills here. Uh, no, I got 500 kills. So, yeah, I've, I, I, I did bad. I did bad. But it happens. It happens. Um, great game to my, my allies. Unfortunately... They couldn't carry me enough. Uh, if I could go back, I would have done a lot of things different. But um, great job on the other team. They all got about equal kills here. So uh, pretty solid victory. Very close one, but a very fun one indeed. So it looks like my horse, my two cav units getting the most there. Uh, my artillery getting 40 kills. Uh, but yeah, just not enough. My light infantry actually getting 87 and 78, which is pretty good since they were charged pretty early on. Um, but yeah, that's gonna wrap up today's Thanksgiving special video Have a fantastic Thanksgiving and again if you don't celebrate it because you know You're not as cool as us Americans then just for me eat a lot of food Which if you're in the West you probably do that already. Maybe not. I I don't know some European nations They have smaller por uh, portions and stuff. So at least compared to the Americans, right? Uh, so you know what today eat a lot of food and think about Think about something you're thankful for. So in the comment section, uh, comment section down below, uh, just write something, maybe something you're thankful for, or you know what, even better, write about what your favorite meal is, or your favorite like side, whether it be yams and marshmallows, or cornbread, or corn, or I don't know, whatever you eat for Thanksgiving. Write it down, I'd love to see what you guys have to say uh but anyways thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed this little fun video and i will see you next time on the battlefield